Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to your 17th tutorial, I think it is. Um, basically what we're doing today is we're going to kind of work with those menu items. First one is we're going to create a toast. Basically this is a toast. <clears throat> it's going to give us a little display message for a couple seconds and disappear. And then also the other thing I want to show you is about uh, some themes that we can use for our activity classes. And this is going to be a dialogue theme that we're going to use for this sweet activity. So you're going to pop up give us a nice transparent look for the outside of that or basically for the whole um, activity that we just started up and it's just gonna have a little description of some text Travis is the most awesome guy I know if I was a woman I'd want to have my way with him and if I was a man I would cook him bacon all day long just so I could hang out with him and that you know I didn't type that that just came with like the Android SDK I don't know what what's going on there but yeah that's basically what we're doing today so first thing we want to do is create a new layout and this basically uh, that second activity that I showed you with the with the theme we could use that as like a about us section for like a game or an application and you can use that for like you know a button you don't have to use it as a menu item but I just chose that so basically we're gonna start a new uh, layout so we're gonna go Android XML layout and we're gonna just say about dot XML Make sure it's a layout and we're just going to hit OK. And then what we want to do is we want to have a text view. So we're just going to drag that in there and, you know, we don't really need to label the ID. We aren't going to reference, <coughs> excuse me, we aren't going to reference it really for the ID here, but just type whatever you want in that little description. Make sure it's kind of long, otherwise it will look, uh, you know, not as awesome, but we're just going to save that and there we go then we want to go up to our suite class and change it from splash to the activity we just created which I called about and then we're gonna save that this is gonna be a pretty short lesson but uh, to get that theme um, for that activity class because you've seen like a regular activity it wasn't transparent it didn't wrap the text like that it wasn't sweet but basically we can use some themes that Android gives us if we go into the um, XML file, uh, I'm sorry, the manifest, the Android manifest, and we're going to find that new uh, suite activity that we created last tutorial. And right here in the opening, the opening uh, segment of the activity um, object that we just created, and before that little ending part, we're going to create a, a new little piece of code here to get that sweet theme. And it's just going to be Android theme equals uh, equals and uh, in quotations we're going to do at Android style backslash theme dot dialog and that's something that comes with like the SDK like I said and we aren't going to have to do anything with that so we're just going to save it and now we should be getting that sweet, uh, not dialogues, just dialog, and capital D. Make sure like you're spelling or your case sensitive there, and just we're gonna save it, and then we should be getting a sweet. For some reason, I'm getting an error here. I think it's. I think that's right. Is it theme? All right, it must be uppercase T. Um, okay, yeah, it's probably uppercase T. For some reason, this thing is lowercase. But yeah, now we'll get that sweet, like, transparency look, and it's just going to be stealthy and sexy and everything. So that'll be good to go for that. And then our other thing we want to do is create that toast message, which is something new. Um, so we're going to go into our menu class. We're going to go down to that section where I said I'd define it in the next tutorial. So basically, if our menu item ID is this we want it to you know do whatever we set up right here and what we want to do is we want to set up a new object or a new variable called, and it's going to be a toast variable again Android or the Java won't recognize toast so we're gonna to have to define that later and we're just gonna call this like uh, display something right, that's too long or I'm just gonna say we're gonna call it display it doesn't matter 
and then we got importer toast and what do we want to set this equal to well how we define this is we're going to just say toast dot make text method and we need three things within our parameters first one is context we're going to say this second one is our text that we want it to do we're just going to go blah yeah that's what's going to display if you want to have a little message you can do that for duration um, you may think it would just be like something like milliseconds like we did with our sleep loop but we we can't actually use milliseconds um, so we're gonna we're gonna have to reference it from the toast class so we're gonna have to do uppercase T and then toast and hit dot and we have two choices we can do we can do a short display or a long display and since this is a pretty short text we don't need the person to read it for too long we're just gonna click short and you can do long and you can check it out and see how it looks and basically we set up our new toast all we have to do is basically show it now so we set up our toast um, named display and we're just going to go display dot show show method and there you go um, yep so basically I just want to show you the toast and um, some themes that you can use for your layout so I'm just going to check it out real quick menu button open suite activity got something looking like that and then we're just going to go back and then menu open toast and there's our short display and thanks for watching Thanks for giving me those thumbs up and subscribing to everything. You guys are awesome. Uh, see you next tutorial. Peace.